In a perfect world, a baby brings joy and closeness and awakens our protective instincts. However, around 15 million babies are born prematurely worldwide. The doctors and nurses who care for these tiny humans 24-7 require reliable technology. Let's start at the beginning with a short trip back in time where everything is started. In the early 1930s in the United States, a physician named Dr. Charles C. Chappell drew his first sketch of a modern incubator. This idea was finally realized in 1946 when Dr. Chappell launched the first modern incubator into the market in collaboration with a company called Air Shields. Revolutionary at the time, the Isolate was the first incubator to have an autonomous climate with air circulation inside the unit. Meanwhile, far away in Lübeck, Germany, engineers were working at top speed to develop healthcare technology. Now we are in the post-war period. The transistor radio has been invented and the Allied troops are in Germany. Legend has it that some of these soldiers asked Draeger to develop an incubator of the same high quality so premature babies could receive comparable care overseas. No sooner said than done, Draeger launched the Incubator 2M100 into the market at the beginning of the 1950s. The Iris hand ports offer quick access from all sides. The built-in scale allows caregivers to check the infant's weight at any time. An integrated bacterial filter facilitates hygiene. The 1960s were marked by great achievements. While many families were happy to have their first freezers at home, Draeger was bursting with new inventions and innovations. The Incubator 6000 was equipped with a sensor that measured the infant's skin temperature and kept the maximum possible oxygen concentration at 40%. The 1970s marked the emergence of the hippie movement, the flower power era. The innovations at Draeger also reflected the spirit of the time. Equipment development focuses on the holistic well-being of the tiny patients and not just on maintaining temperature and oxygen values. The incubator developed in 1974 was extremely quiet. In the 1980s, the entire world was fascinated by the Rubik's Cube. However, the new innovations coming out of Lubeck have less to do with puzzles and more to do with solid engineering. Draeger presented the Incubator 8000 in 1987, the first sterile closed humidity system which lowers the risk of infection for the tiny preemies was, at this time, revolutionary. 1989 marks the fall of the Berlin Wall, a life-changing experience for all Germans, while Draeger redefined neonatal ventilation with the Baby Log 8000. With this innovation, neonatologists have access to a volume-controlled ventilation system. As the 20th century gave way to the 21st, Draeger's personal firework was called Kaleo. Kaleo was the first incubator to have and display peripheral and central skin temperature thermomonitoring as well as an air curtain. But even more importantly, it was the first to include families using the kangaroo mode. 2004 marks another big event. Draeger and the pioneering company Air Shields joined forces. One result of their merger? The new Isolette generation. And today? Draeger is helping physicians, nurses, premature babies and their parents all over the world. We worked together with this hospital to create a brand new ergonomic and infection controlled NICU. Having a resuscitation device with the auto breath function in the delivery room allows this hospital to reduce the mortality rate of at risk preemies. Their NICU unit consists of an integrated workplace solution including ceiling supply structures, monitoring, ventilation and more. Just as the physicians and nurses will keep advancing care practices, Draeger will keep pushing the limits of neonatal technology.